Excessive hunting and fishing. What are their effects? By Camille and Do Young. Here we will tell you how hunting and fishing affects the ecosystem. Poaching. Poaching is one of the most disgusting things I've ever known now. It means to kill animals for their valuables, to make other things such as bags and coats. But the worst part is when that animal is killed alive. Seriously, there are hundreds of pictures that shows poached animals. For example, this elephant. The trunk is cut off and the elephant is left alive, killed. And the most common animals that are known are tigers, rhinos, and elephants. You wouldn't want to be killed alive if you were them. Animal fur. Imagine someone walking into a shop and they buy your skin. How would you feel? I'd feel really bad. Le tigers, leopards, and other animals get killed for their fur. For very famous boutiques. But now it's illegal to sell real fur. So people are selling fake fur. But some shops still sell real fur. And say it's fake. Tiger population. Right now, we are only 3,200 tigers left. This is not a lot, a lot for the entire world. For example, we humans are more than 5 billion, and they're only in their thousands. So at the rate we're going, they're going to go extinct, unless we help. If we help, we can move the population to 25,000. But if they, we don't, they're gone. Tiger skin. This is the picture of tiger skin. These tiger skins can be used for bags, coats, and other things. However, think of how many tigers getting killed just for their skin. The more tiger skin people have, the more tigers they have killed. So beware. Decorations. Do you see this beautiful picture of the elephant roaming the desert in Africa? But then someone shoots it, kills it for its test, sends it to the factory, and makes it into a necklace. Don't you love seeing elephants? I know I do, especially riding on the backs. Have you done it before? It seems you're so high up that you're the king. I once went to Borneo and I saw tons of necklaces made out of elephants. I didn't buy one. That's a way of helping, not to buy one. Medicine made from animals. In China, there are black markets. Those black markets sell medicine made out of tiger bones. That's why the population of tigers decreased since it started. Did you know that rhino horns were used as medicine back then? And it didn't even work. Animals used as medicine. Rhinos were common animals for medicine. People would cut their horns off and use it as medicine. But you know what? That medicine didn't work. They believed that horns were good, but wow, they did waste a lot of rhino horns. Poor, poor rhinos. <coughs> Look at this rhino. This rhino had his horn cut off because of the medicine that didn't even work. Think how painful that would be. This is a graph of poaching rhinos in South Africa. As you can see, since 2000 and until 2011, the poaching has increased a lot. Think how many rhinos were killed. Hunting can be potion. If you hunt out of the hunting season or hunt in nature reserve, you would be hunting illegally and would get arrested. Poaching underwater. Poaching underwater happens with fishing. So the more fishing we do, the more freshes get lost and damaged. If we continue to fish large amounts, this might lead them to extinction. You wouldn't want to be extinct, right? That's how fish will feel too. Fishing. Fishing is probably the most common poaching in the ocean. When people fish, they don't eat all the fish they catch, so there's a lot of waste. Meat from fishes and whales. Sharks are one of the apex predators. They're one of the kings underwater. Nobody really hunts them except for humans. As we know, sharks are endangered because of people eating shark soup. Plus, it doesn't even make sense that people would just cut off the shark skins and leave them there in the ocean suffering until they die. What's the purpose? You don't want to leave, you don't want to have your arms or legs cut off and leave you there without any medication. Also, did you know that Japanese restaurants in America secretly serve whale meat? But 
That was a long time ago. When people heard about that, they closed down the business. That's what we want to do to every <coughs> shop that serves illegal animals. Did you know that some makeup brands use whale fat in their makeup? Trust me, I would not want to put whale fat on my face. Underwater marine life. Imagine billions, 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 billions of marine creatures. You're there underwater and you're seeing all those busy and beautiful and colorful streets full of fish. Would you that want that to disappear? Then marine life is very important. Without marine life, there wouldn't be aquariums for the next generation to see. But I know that won't happen. But just imagine, and you see it all disappear one by one. This Crane Pop video will tell you what ecosystems are and how we can help them. Respect the marine life. The marine life is a huge part of the biosphere. The earth is made up of 70% salt water. Trust me, there are many more living things underwater than on the surface. I can't even count it. I think that respecting the marine life will take a huge role in helping the underwater creatures. How would you feel if you're underwater and people treat you like garbage? <coughs> Don't buy, thing, buy things that involve an illegal animal. So if you want to help, you just you don't need to buy things that involve animals. Help! Don't buy. Responsible hunting and fishing. There are hunting seasons on land. If you kill outside the hunting season with a gun, then it is illegal. Illegal means not allowed, and you'll have to pay the consequences. And if you're really bad, you can get arrested. There are certain reasons for people to hunt outside the hunting season such as killing valuable animals for medicine, fur, and decoration. Then, they sell it for money. The marine life also has a controlled organization, but it's not like hunting season. It's the amount of fish you can get. That certain quota, uh, there, is a so, there is a certain quota for each person. And also, you can't fish and not fully grown fish. So, so it, if it is still a baby fish, then you're going to have to throw it back into the water. You can't, uh, quota means you have a certain amount of fish to catch. If you break the law, then you're going to have to pay. So this are, these organizations are helping in a form of trying to decrease the amount of poaching. Although these organizations are trying to help, we're still in trouble, as there are still a lot of poaching around the world. Support a campaign. You can also help raise campaigns for certain animals. For example, tigers. You can raise campaigns for tigers so that their population doesn't decrease. You might be a huge help. Spread the word!